So hello everyone. So this is the game between Grandmaster Alexander Alikain, uh, the former world chess champion during the 1920s and 1930s, and also one of the greatest chess player of all time. And um, he's playing against Friedrich um, Samich from Germany, and one of the strongest chess players during his time also. And it was played in 1923. Uh, this is an exhibition game, and um, what I love this game the most big is how Alexander Alikain uh, displayed the beauty of chess. So let's start. Um, Alikain played e4 and um, Samish replied c5. So this is the Sicilian defense. And we have knight f3, knight c6, and we have bishop e2. So quite passive move, but so also a very logical move. So preparing to castle. And um, here we have e6, and then we have castling, king safety. And we have d6 and uh, Likhan played d4 so opening up the center and um, c takes d4 knight takes d4 and we have knight f6 so attacking and developing also the the, the knight and attacking the e4 pawn and here um, defended the pawn a quite um, interesting reply uh, there are Many ways to defend the pawn. Of course, we have um, f3. We have bishop this this d3. We have bishop f3 or queen d3 and knight c3. Um, but here, usually we can defend the pawn by knight c3, a developing move. Um, also we, but here Ali kind of prefers the move bishop f3. Perhaps he think, or his plan is. He wants to play first the c4 before moving the knight c3 so that's why he played the bishop f3 and um, also the bishop f3 um, has a tactical reason for instance uh, what if black plays for instance bishop e7 then there's possibility of knight takes c6 b takes c6 and e5 um, there are that's very good tactics like uh, I'm sorry, we have c4 and um, a3, then uh, the knight um, is forced to play knight a6, and then we have bishop takes c6, and then uh, there's a um, tactical shot, or the you know, it will end up on a material advantage for white. So that's why bishop f3 also is has some poison and we therefore black replies um, after that black replies knight e5 um you know at knight e5 is defending against the possibility of e5 also he wants to um capture this bishop so that he can have two bishops in the middle game and um somehow defending the threat of c4 but anyway c4 is the way is possible in that position but i i guess e5 is much better anyway knight e5 was played and here's ali Kain played c4 i guess c4 is a very good move in this position because if white black played knight takes c4 then that's that's really bad and you can post the video and find the best move for white so Okay, this quite obvious. The queen a4 check, and uh, there's n there's no defense for this knight c4. So knight c4 is bad, and th therefore knight um, Samich played um, knight takes c3 check. Queen takes uh, sorry knight takes f3 check. Queen takes f3, and we have bishop e7, and we have knight c3 developing move. We have castling king safety, and now. Ali Kain played b3 so very interesting because of this possibility the bishop b2 and the um, possibility to attack in the king side and this long diagonal um, you know there are many ways to move like bishop e3 or bishop g5 and that's all good move but bishop um, b2 and bishop, p, bishop b2 is I think um, a very interesting and a very good move especially for uh, an attacker player like Alexander Alikan. So B B three and we have knight d seven. So Samich is um is planning to meet the this bishop b two 
and um, this by bishop f6 possibility uh, challenging the, the diagonal so we have bishop b2 and now bishop f6 and now rook a d1 so defending this knight and we have a6 so defending the possibility of white to play knight b5 and attacking this um this somehow weak weak pawn and um we have queen g3 so preparing for especially preparing for f4 and um so preparing to attack the king side clearly and we have queen c7 and also by the way the queen g3 is attacking this pawn so we have queen c7 defending the defending the pawn the d6 pawn um particularly then we have king f1 so we all know that as i have said also that f4 is the possibility the next move of white but he sidestep first the king because um for instance he played f4 then there is possibility of queen c5 and um there's a pressure of um in this diagonal so in chess it's not all about the attack you have to think about your um king safety there's a preventive measure and just that's called prophylactic um idea or um pro preventive thinking or prophylactic thinking so you have to consider that um in choosing move and so you have king h1 and rook this d8 i think the rook d8 is somehow a bad move um it, it doesn't it has not a good function in this kind of position i think i don't know what he is planning but maybe he is planning to um sam is planning to knight f8 to defend this pawn with the um with the rook i don't know but that's a quite bad move for me i think uh he can all but much better is b6 and then develop this bishop and i think that's better way to proceed and rook d8 and you can see now why that's a bad move so um after that we have f4 and we have d6 and now what do you think white play you can feel free to pause the video and find the best so okay um white played in this position continuing the attack f5 and um that's very um unpleasant for black now his rook is not um is not in the king side to defend this his king and um this will be very um kind of great headache for 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 black i, I guess if he wants to move the rook i think it's better if um he put the rook in e8 so that he can defend this pawn in, in that in this position so we have bishop in this position we have bishop e, e5 and um threatening the queen and now what do you think Ali can move in the game? You can post the video and um, think like Alexander Ali Kain. Uh, you know Alexander Ali Kain is a very dynamic attacking player and a very um, tactical combinative um, player. So what do you think he played in this in this game? Okay, so he played queen uh, i'm just joking he did not move the queen um he allowed that bishop takes g3 so he played f6 e6 and um yeah that's why i told you that this rook is bad here this is not defending this um, pawn in this king, king side and and if rook e8 then he can capture recapture that though and here Samich played bishop takes g3 and Ali Khan played e takes f7 check and we have um king h8 of course not king f8 um it will fork your king and queen and by knight e6 and that's very bad so king um king h8 is the way to go here and now what do you think um Ali Khan played in this position you know after this move and um summit resigned the game so he played knight d5 and after that summit resigned in all variations 
black is busted in this position. Um, this uh, uh, knight d5 threatened the queen, so there are only um, four mainly four possibilities. Uh, moving the queen, if of course not not queen c6 because knight takes c6 and that's bad. Uh, let's say he played knight uh, queen c5, and then of obviously what will the what will you play? Then there's knight e6 threatening the queen and also this um, g7, and that's very bad for for black. And also there's a lot of possibility like queen b7 and. You can also continue that and capture the rook or um, later you can queen your pawn and a lot of things um, will happen. Also king king b8 or king a6 you can also even you can play knight c6 and um, forking the queen and the rook and this is very bad for, for, for black. And so therefore that's too much for Samish and thus he resigned the game. So that's a very beautiful display of chess by Alexander Arikain. And that's why he is one of the greatest chess players of all time. And so that's all. I, I hope you have learned something from our discussion. And um, thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and um, for more videos, for more updates. And I hope I, I, um, my, my ideas are of help for chess development. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless. Cheers.